Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, the Defense and Interior Committee of Parliament says it will invite the Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Ahmed Al Hassan, to answer questions about slack security in police cells. The move follows two cell breaks in less than a month. Deputy Ranking Member on the Defense and Interior Committee of Parliament, Major Derek Odro, revealed the planned move is to uh, get the the police chief to respond to certain questions. Now, he said a committee will wait for police investigations to be concluded and after, invite the IGP, Mohammed Al Hassan, to the committee. So, uh, I have to, yeah, first of all, I invite the IGP for briefing, because that is his outfit. Uh, he is the, the, the commander, the moral commander of the police uh, service. And therefore, the circumstances leading to the escape supposed to be told to us so that from there we know what to do, what the next step to take. Of late, uh, people have been complaining about trust and confidence that they have in the, the police service. Some are even threatening to take the security of their area into their own hands because they lost confidence in the, the, the police service. It's about time that we ask the IGP to put his ass together so that the people will have confidence. There's a massive manhunt for two inmates who broke cell bars in Tepa in the Ahafono North District of the Ashanti region. The two have been identified as a 26-year-old Ernest Oswa from who is in jail for defrauding by false pretense and 39-year-old Nyame Shadrach involved in robbery. The District Security Council is expected to meet on Wednesday, which is today, to review a police report on the escape. Last month, seven prisoners broke out of a police cell in the Volta region and made away with two AK-47 rifles and 50 rounds of ammunition. Erastus Asaridonko is a man on the beat. He joins me now for an update on this. Erastus. Okay, well... Uh, I, can, I, I think we don't have Eurostars over there, but I can move on to the next story, also security-related. And another person has been arrested in the Denu jailbreak saga. The suspect, Edem Domela, was arrested in Tulokofe near Kopeya late last night with the help of residents. Correspondent Ivy Setoji joins us live with more on the latest arrest. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Ivy. Okay, Ivy Setoji doesn't seem to be hearing me over there. And uh, it, it, it's in relation to an arrest, another arrest which brings to five the number of persons who have been re-arrested after breaking jail in Denu in the Volta region some weeks ago. I said, Toji, can you hear me now? Okay. So, Hello? so Ivy, how many of the suspects have been arrested so far? Um, this that's up to five. This is the fifth one they've arrested so far. Uh, that's Adam Gumala. Uh, they arrested him this morning um, at Kopeye near Denu in the Kese sub district uh, by the help of some residents who gave uh, information to the police service. So they arrested him. So making five, uh, giving the two Nigerians who are still on the run. So where exactly was, was he arrested, and how he, did they go about it? He was arrested, according to the police, he was arrested uh, in his home, in his area at Kopeya. Mm. Uh, and that is not far from uh, Poglu, in, uh, in the Ketu South Municipality. So it's not far from Poglu. On your way to Ho, uh, it's just about 10 minutes drive from Tokong, uh, near Denu. So that was how he was arrested. Uh, and according to the police, the police were many, so they overpowered him. So there was nothing he could do at that moment. Mm -hmm. And so the arrest was very easy for the police. Uh, they also uh, said they, they gave all the chance to the residents who gave them information leading to uh, Adam's arrest. Okay. So, Ivy, I, I just want to find out something here. Now, this brings to five, the number uh, of persons who have been rearrested, right? Leaving two more to be rearrested. Is that the case? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Sure. Now we were told there was a two-day, uh, there was a ten-day ultimatum given to uh, these police officers to recapture them. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that ten-day period has elapsed. Is that not the case? Ah, uh, that's that's the assumption anyway. Mm. The, the the police wouldn't talk about this one, but uh, uh, the ten days I'm sure has elapsed. Mm. Okay, yes. but their main focus now is to uh, recapture the other two persons who are... The other two persons. Now, the worry of the residents, I am talking from 
what the resident told me. Their worry is uh, maybe these Nigerians have already gone back to their country. Oh, okay. You know, mm. and so, but they are still uh, on the lookout, especially in Togo, to see if they can get them around. So that is what they are doing now with the help of the Togo, uh, the police in Togo. Okay. Ivy Setoji, thank you so much for that update over there. Now, going back to the Tepa jailbreak story, security chiefs in the Ashanti region, uh, the Ashanti region district of Ahafono North are this morning gathering for an emergency security council meeting as the manhunt continues for two fugitives who broke cell yesterday. The fugitives are reported to have systematically smuggled tools into their cell which they used to cut through the thick metal bars before making their escape. The incident has left residents in fear, but the district chief executive of the area, Adaya Mankwa, says they will get to the bottom of the matter following accusations that officers on duty may be complicit in the cell break. So far, people are going on about their duties as uh, issuer. Uh, you see, uh, Hafano North is one of the most peaceful districts in the region. And once this has happened, fine, they are just uh, waiting for the report. So we are just hoping that when dissect meet, when we get the full report, then we'll go through and see how best we can also sort out things.